We're about to run through the best video editing apps for Instagram that can help you easily make Instagram stories, regular videos, and square video content like a pro. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. We release a ton of content to help you get better results with your videos faster. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. When it comes to Instagram videos, most people just shoot and upload. But with the right apps, it's easy to level up your content and stand out from the crowd in no time at all. Creators like John Olson, Peter McKinnon, and Jesse Driftwood do an awesome job of capturing and sharing their day-to-day -day lives and creating engaging content that really stands out. All of the apps that we're about to cover will help you create cool stuff just like these guys right from your iPhone or your Android device. You're still gonna need your own creativity though. So probably the biggest thing you notice with the content that these guys are creating and a lot of other people out there as well that are doing it really, really well is that specifically for their Instagram stories, they're not just relying on pointing and shooting with their mobile device. They're actually editing the footage down. So that 15 second clip is actually an edit of what could be 10 or 20 little clips into that 15 seconds to make it really high impact, really professional, and so that it stands out for the viewers. And you're able to show them so much more in that 15 seconds and really get them engaged and excited about your content instead of dragging it out over four or five or even more Instagram story clips. So that's exactly what you'll be able to do with the apps that we're talking about in this video. And once we're done running through the best apps for Android and iPhone, I'm gonna give you our recommended export settings to make sure your content looks as professional as possible on Instagram. And while we're running through this video, why not pick up your smartphone, jump over to my Instagram page and hit follow. And once you're done, also give your Instagram handle a plug in the comments below to share it with the rest of the Primal Video community. And I'll see you down in the comments. All right, so when it comes to creating professional looking videos for Instagram, there's only really a few options that you've got. You can create portrait videos to be used in your Instagram stories. You can create portrait videos that can be posted on your profile. And you've also got the ability to create and post square videos to your profile and 16 by nine or widescreen videos. Now, when you're looking around at the top Instagram profiles, you'll find that most of them will actually steer clear of 16 by nine or widescreen videos because you've got that huge gap of white space on the top and the bottom of your videos. So when they're creating videos for their profile, most people will stick to square videos so that they're able to maximize the viewing experience on the Instagram platform. So what that means when we're looking at apps to get the best results for creating videos on Instagram, we're not looking for a standard widescreen video editor, which is most of the editing apps out there for iOS and Android. What we're looking for is something that can edit vertical video or portrait video, nine by 16 aspect ratio video, or have the ability to edit in square, or have the ability to resize and reposition your footage so that it looks good in portrait or square. So we've gone out and we've tried and tested a heap of different apps on both iPhone and Android to find out what the best ones are. And in our opinion, on iPhone, it goes hands down to LumaFusion, and on Android, it goes to PowerDirector. So LumaFusion on iOS is probably hands down the best video editing application on iOS, not just for Instagram stories, but for any type of video that you're creating, at least right now. The amount of features that you get in there just for editing alone are unbelievable. Having the ability to add multiple tracks or multiple layers of video to bring in B-roll, to bring in titles and graphics and anything else you wanna add into your video is really, really easy and really, really powerful too. And then when you look at the controls that you've got over color correction, so the amount of control and tweaking and refinement you have over the look of your videos is just unbelievable. And you've also got a heap of really advanced audio controls in there as well to be able to increase the volume at certain points of your video, lower it back down. As I said, this is all the features that you would find on you know, top level video production software on, on a desktop now in your iOS device as well. So it's an amazing piece of software and it makes it really easy to create professional looking videos for Instagram. Probably the only thing in LumaFusion that I'm not a big fan of is the title tool or the ability to make titles and the templates that they give you to create animated titles. They're really limiting and they also don't look that great straight out of the box. So it's definitely not a deal breaker, but in my opinion, that's probably the biggest weakness of the application. And it's something they could easily 
possibly fix in the future. LumaFusion currently sells for around $27. So at that price point, it's definitely not on the cheaper end as far as apps go, but when you look at what you actually get for $27 and the amount of control and professional videos you'd be able to create on your iPhone or on your iPad, it is unbelievable what you're getting for $27. So I think it's an amazing app for anyone serious about creating videos on their iOS device to seriously consider LumaFusion. So then on the Android side of things, the app that I would recommend is PowerDirector. And again, links to everything we mentioned will be in the description. But PowerDirector is pretty much the equivalent of LumaFusion, but on Android. So it's an amazing piece of software. It's got the best color correction out of any editing app on Android, in my opinion. It's really easy to use. It's so intuitive. You get multiple tracks of video layers to bring in your B-roll, your titles. The titles are a lot better in PowerDirector than they are in LumaFusion. You actually get some really decent animated titles if you wanna bring those into your Instagram videos as well. The biggest downside with PowerDirector though, especially when looking at creating Instagram content, is that it currently doesn't support square videos. You can currently do portrait or landscape videos. So hopefully that's a feature they add in soon. Now, it's actually not really a deal breaker because if you want to create square videos for Instagram, you just create them as a portrait video. And that's what most video editing applications on iOS and Android currently don't let you do, is to be able to edit portrait or vertical videos. So if you want your end video to be square, create it as portrait. And then when you're posting in Instagram, you can simply crop off the top and the bottom. So as long as you're aware that you want square and you're editing everything to suit, and repositioning everything so that it fits in that area, then you can easily crop it off in the Instagram app. All right, so now you've seen how amazing LumaFusion and PowerDirector are and how they can take your Instagram game to the next level. Now in regards to our recommended export settings for Instagram video, what I would suggest you do is wherever possible, export your video content at 1080p. So whether it's portrait video, whether it's landscape video, or whether it's a one by one aspect ratio or a square video. So that's 1080 by 1920 for a portrait video or 1080 by 1080 for a square video. And there's heaps of stuff written around with people recommending all different kinds of resolutions and this and that. We've gone through and we've tested and the, for the best results from what we've found, and there's a lot of people online that agree with us as well, is to stick with the standard video file sizes or formats. So 1080p. So all we're doing here is rotating 1080p to put it on its size as a portrait resolution. And we're keeping that same 1080 as the size for our one by one or square videos as well. And in our experience, that's how we've been able to keep the best quality videos from filming through editing through to export and upload to Instagram. All right, so now that you've got your apps ready to go, it's time to get started. So for a full step-by-step -step fast track tutorial on how to make Instagram stories like a pro, we're gonna be putting together a video really soon. They're gonna link on screen. I'll see you soon.